Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Pink Urchin. Pink Urchin is one of my favourite Pokemon actually. Um, I really like it. It's got decent stats um, kind of across the board except for speed. Um, obviously decent defences. It's got relatively okay special attack. Good attack in base 101. Um, and really low speed meaning that it can do effective things in a trick room. Uh, also gets access to a variety of good moves. Now this is an update video because it has got access to a new move during the Isle of Armour. So if you want to check out a few more sets that are slightly varied um, based on Pink Urchin, you can go into the top corner there. There is a card that will take you to that video, but I'd recommend you watch this video all the way through first. Also, if you could, please do subscribe and like this video uh, because it really helps us build up the community and I'd really appreciate it. So Pink Urchin, we've got three sets, two Generic and one Dynamax, and we're just going to jump straight in. So the first set we have is a Leftovers um, kind of setup set, I suppose. So on here we've got Leftovers, uh, healing ourselves up. We could go for things like Rocky Helmet if you wanted to. Um, that's up to you. We've got Electric Surge, allowing for you to set up the Electric Terrain. Now this could work quite well with a Lowland Raichu, for example. Um, you've also got uh, the ability to raise up the power of Electric type moves and... Rising Voltage doubles in power for any Pokemon that is touching the ground. So this combination of Rising Voltage and Electric Surge works really well for Pink Urchin. We've then got Spikes and Toxic Spikes. Now these can set up layers, multiple layers, three layers of Spikes and two layers of Toxic Spikes to be able to cause your opponent a lot of dismay, uh, potentially forcing them to defog or just have to deal with taking a lot of damage. Now Spikes, anything that's grounded will take 25% damage uh, if you've got three layers and obviously that will start to rack up on your opponent over time, especially if you're forcing a lot of switches. Then Toxic Spikes, if you get two layers, you do set up the Toxic. Now, obviously, um, this can be a bit of a problem with Poison types because they do come in and they do absorb the Toxic Spikes and so do just consider that beforehand. Rising Voltage I've already talked about and then Recover just to heal yourself up because realistically you're going to take some hits. Now this is why I would like to see the Rocky Helmet on here as well because the Recover does give you that reliable recovery option. EVs, I've got max HP and max defense with a bold nature, so more defense, less attack, and four EVs, the special attack, boosting that rising voltage ever so slightly. I really like this set. I think this is my favorite set for Pink Urchin, uh, but I think there are still a couple of other sets that can be used. So moving on to the second set, we have a choice band set. Now, as I said, base 101 attack is pretty good but if we put a choice band on there that will go from 331 to about 490 ish so almost 500 attack which makes you very very powerful on the physical run and this can work really 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 well in trick room um, obviously having such a low speed if you go for like a brave nature that would allow for you to basically outspeed any pokemon in the game I've gone for Electric Surge again, just because Electric Surge, one, prevents Pokemon from going to sleep, so if you've got any rest users, um, then that can happen. And Lightning Rod doesn't really matter too much. I mean, you could always go for the Electric Community, but I think it pays off more to have the Electric Surge in this scenario. Move-wise, we have got Liquidation, powerful water-type attack, hits a variety of different Pokemon uh, for good damage. Uh, we've got Poison Jab, which hits things like Fairy types, it can hit Grass types, um, just again, different Pokemon. Liquidation also covers rock and ground types, obviously you're weak to ground types. Well I've put Zing Zap on here, powerful electric type move, um, it does have the chance to flinch as well so if you're in that trip room scenario uh, having the chance to flinch can work quite well. And then finally I've put Sucker Punch on here, now a, a choice banded Sucker Punch could do quite a bit of damage to different Pokemon, it gives you that priority, especially let's say if you can't set up the trip room um, because maybe your trip room user has fainted you can use Sucker Punch to um, try and do damage to that Pokemon without having to worry about your speed stats. EVs, I've got max HP and max attack with an adamant nature, some more attack, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. I really like this set as well. I think it would work very, very nicely. Definitely in Trick Room scenario, it works so well. And finally, we're going to move on to our Dynamax set. On here, I've put Choice Specs. You could go for a whole variety of things. You could go for... Um, terrain Extender, you could go for uh, Electric Seed, you could go for any assortment of berries, you could go for, um, I don't know, not necessarily Choice Space, you could go Life Orb, you could go um, Red Cards, lots and lots of options, even like Weakness Policy could work on this as well. 
A foot lightning, lightning rod as the ability in this one. Now, obviously, if you can switch in on an electric type attack, you will get a plus one in your special attack, making that nice and high for you. So on here, we have got uh, a variety of moves. So I've gone for rising voltage. Rising voltage, uh, obviously, I've explained doubles in the electric terrain. You would have to set this up when dynamaxing uh, because you don't have the electric surge ability, but you could go for the electric surge ability here if you wanted to, um, to have that rising voltage immediately available. We've then got Hydro Pump, which allows you to uh, rack up damage on different Pokemon and also set up the rain as well. Now, the rain can be uh, really beneficial for a variety of different Pokemon. Um, for example, Pokemon that use Hurricane, uh, Swift Swim users, you've got uh, things like... Uh, I don't know if Dracofish gets Swift Swim, I can't think off the top of my head. Um, but a lot of the, there's a lot of really good Swift Swim users out there um, that can take advantage of that. And then I've gone for Hex and Venus Shock. Now, Venus Shock is purely there to raise up our special attack with Max Ooze, um, just allowing for maybe plus one, plus two um, in your special attack or whatever you want to do. Um, it just allows you to raise that up a little bit more. And Hex was just more of a coverage move. Now, if you have another Pokemon that has like toxic spikes, um, so for example, I think Rosa Raid is available. Um, so Rosa Raid, you've got Gengar. You could even put it on this set if you wanted to, if you want to replace one of the other moves. Um, it would definitely work, or if you want to take this off and be like leftovers instead of Dynamax, um, there's another option there. Now, I didn't want to put down like loads of different options, which were very, very similar, but that's a different option that you can go for entirely. EVs, I've got max HP and max special attack with a modest nature, so more special attack, less attack, and four EVs in special defense. You could always go for the quiet nature here um, and possibly have a trick room scenario with probably in doubles, because if you're going to Dynamax, um, you, your trick run will be done basically by the time that you've finished Dynamaxing, so uh, it wouldn't really be worth it. Anyways, that is all for today, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so be a good one, and I'll see you soon.